I'm Matthew Widget with Microsoft Dynamics and I have the pleasure of being here with Geraldine Smallcomb from Roger Seller in Australia. Thank you so much for joining us today. No problem. So tell me a little bit about Roger Seller. What do you guys do? What gets everybody up in the morning? Roger Seller is a family owned company. It's been around for 120 years. Uh, they specialise in premium quality fixtures and uh, furniture for the home. So it's bathroom wear, kitchen wear uh, and living solutions. Fantastic. And so what is the 120 years? That's a, that's a phenomenal run. Congratulations <laughs> so far. Uh, you've seen a lot of change in that yeah. time yeah. for that 120 years. Not you personally, obviously. But the, uh, the past, if you look at the past couple of years, what have been the big changes or the notable changes in, mm. for your well, business? Things like Twitter and Facebook. Um, everyone's on social media, so obviously we're, we've got a presence there. Um, you know, tracking our online sales through our e-store. Um, that's been very important as well. Um, innovations like NFC, they're things that we want to adopt. Um, CRM being mobile, um, having uh, tablets, um, yeah. So there's a lot of technology is, is played into how you reach your customers by the sound of things. And uh, how has that changed how Roger Sellers has approached the business in general? Well, we actually want to re redesign our showroom so that our salespeople can use a tablet to walk around with customers, make their selections, email the quote to them before they've even left the store. So it's technology's, you know, it's very important to our business and it's really changing how we want to do business. You've talked about both the in-store experience and then the, the social experience. When you think about your customer, what is it about your customer that you prioritise? Well, we want to know what our customer wants. Um, we need to know things about them, like their age group, um, whether they've purchased from us before, what things they've looked at. So if they've been online, um, what products are they, are they opening up and drilling down into, what brochures they might have downloaded. Um, so we can, when they come into the store, we can give them a better experience. So 120 years ago, very much a, a hands-on experience, a close relationship with, with customers. It sounds like what you're doing now with technology is getting back to that knowledge of the customer and having that depth of knowledge of the customer. Yeah, I, and I think you have to because everyone's online. As I said, like Twitter and Facebook, everyone uses that nowadays. Fantastic. So anyway, thank you for sharing your story with us and no uh, for joining us today. And uh, let's hope for another 120 years. <laughs> yeah, thank you thank very you much. Thank you so much. Cheers.